Oh. Follower of his game trusting me. Let's see if they know know where to sit this time or if they're totally lost again. I nope, we're good. I fear that they are still present. The lost one's souls. They are trapped here for all eternity. Wasting away. No rest. Even in death. Have you never looked into the lost one's eyes? Seen the pain? The regret? Will we set them free if we slay them? Or condemn them? What is the force that drives the lost? Are they innocent? Or guilty? They must be guilty. Evil. Nothing else could drive them to attack. The more I slay, I wonder. Who is the man? Who is the beast? Are we all lost? Do you never see faces you recognize, Ash? Faces of the ones you love? I guess we are quite hungry. Okay. So let's go take a look at what I can make. Dude, speaking of dogs, how's the dog issue? We've heard it bark a couple of times, but it's barked considerably less. And we think they might be bringing it inside. Get a leather, leather satchel going. And that should let me get the bow as well. Because I bet the hunt, hunting bow can instantly follow reindeer and use for combat in a pinch. Excuse me, you mean always. Okay, so I could get more leather. I guess I gotta figure out if the, uh... I gotta figure out if the satchel counts as a, as a pouch or a backpack first. Okay, so I'm gonna just let her go. Something about the NPCs in this game is really off-putting. The voice acting is not very passionate. All the characters are just kind of even keel the whole way through and it just feels odd. Okay, so we can turn lumber into firewood, imbued wood into firewood, writhing wood into firewood, pristine wood into firewood. What about tainted wood into firewood? Or... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna make that into one hell of a queue. Okay, so this is the forge. Jin is sleeping. I'm gonna have Jin work on the forge next. Except for the Eldritch Beast. His voice is really neat. Yep. No, like, I appreciate the fact that there is the voice acting in this game. And I do think it actually does add... I wanted to concentrate, meditate like the others. Nothing worked. Distractions were many. I grew frustrated, uneasy. I doubted my abilities. The way was very difficult. Yeah, the voice acting isn't bad. It just feels very dispassionate. Everybody is so haunted by their own problems that they're not that interesting of characters. Maybe? I don't know. They just sound... sad. But I do appreciate the fact that it is full voice acting. I do wish when, say, like, Jin walks by and is, like, talking about himself, I wish he'd actually, like, follow us a little bit. So that there's a, a feeling of, like, him actually caring to interact with me. Okay. So I don't think I've actually properly looted this area either. Oh. Sled. Sled. Original sled. I have a lot of spare sleds around here. But, like, 
I think I would have enjoyed it more if they had a bunch of characters that were not just haunted, maybe? You know, with a lot of these games, you have... You have characters that are very subdued and don't talk much. And I think I'd rather have a bunch of characters that, like, are haunted, but are, like, trying to cope or something like that, instead of just being like, I'm so sad, or I'm so angry. Uh, where's my dogs? Line out. Line out. Keep it up. Mix it up with an angry ranty guy or an insane guy or two. And also a couple of people that are just happy. Yeah, the characters are sad and we're only learning about how sad they are and they aren't progressing. Kind of, yeah. It's like... I played five hours of... I played five hours of... Of... Was it only five hours? I think it was only five hours of the World Dex store. And, like, I learned a fair bit about those, those characters over the course of those five hours. And, like, to me, I found that incredibly compelling, because it was like, yeah, this is... This is a, uh... A group of relatively well-written people. The plot for the game wasn't great, but, like, there was, like, very definitive charm... And, like, it was enjoyable to see them interact and stuff. Where is... Where are you? Oh, it's over there. Through the tents. I don't see any, like... Oh, I hear a critter. But it might actually be so stuck it might not reach me in time. Which would certainly be amusing. Yeah, I talked to the, uh, I talked to the writer they brought on specifically for World Next Door, and apparently it was in a pretty sad state before she got there, so... Oh, can I really not crouch through that? Uh, so apparently the ending they came up with was the best that they could, given the situation. But, like, I liked the, I liked the characters, they were fun and quirky. Or the Eldritch monstrosity. Oh, you need a hunting bow or better to take down an imbued dare deer. What? Uh. So the deer is just magically. The deer is just magically enchanted to resist me. That's disappointing. Yesterday to do it is lots of video at the end of the playthrough. I know some streamers who do that and really gives a nice idea what their opinions is on the game. Yeah, I usually kind of do that when I'm doing credits, but I think what I need to do is actually sit down and and like make it a separate video entirely. Maybe with some amount of editing and even writing and stuff. Uh, but yeah, effectively, that's what I would like to do, is, like, when, whenever I, I finish a game, more or less within a couple of days, I have the review up. I might not, not even have the, uh, the full playthrough up on, on YouTube, necessarily. Uh, but, you know, I sit down and be like, yeah, this game was great. Here's why. Or, you know, this is why this game is worth playing, even though it wasn't that good. Or, don't touch this game, run in fear, never, never play it. 
Let's see. How was your your day, Wander? Uh, let's see. Well, mostly I've just been sitting around listening to Cinco de Mayo at, like, max volume. Which, let me tell you, I like the idea of Cinco de Mayo, but when I can feel my chair vibrating as a result of it, a little bit less interested in Cinco de Mayo. Effectively, there's a fairly sizable Hispanic population in, in my town. And uh, the the big park, uh, for at least our part of town, in the Hispanic section of town, is, I would say, maybe a quarter of a mile away from us, if not closer. And so they put up some, like, hella sound system. Oh, can I not do, uh... Can I not do, like, survival vision? Well, on the uh, sled, that's dumb. And yeah, Portland's a big on Cinco, Ma Cinco de Mayo. Yep. I, I think it's been uh, like a big sanctuary city for a while, so I'm pretty sure like it attracts like a fairly sizable Hispanic population by default. And it does mean that the Tex-Mex is pretty good here, or well, not even Tex-Mex, just straight Mex. We haven't been going out for it that much. Mostly we've been going for like interesting foods like Hawaiian and stuff. Cause I, I like me some I really like the fact that they align themselves automatically to food. Dex Mex, uh Mexican food, but like usually with like an American flair. Uh so Tex Mex. I don't know. But yeah, so they, they set up some... They set up some hella sound system for Cinco de Mayo today. And more or less, like... It wasn't so bad, but it, it got really loud to the point where I could feel it vibrating my chair. That got a little old fast. It was also a bit of a shame because I actually wanted to go over there and see if they had any, like, interesting food trucks. Though, I guess I had just eaten food, so... Not like I really needed to, but I don't know. I, I like food. I like trying different types of food and stuff. I'm a bit of a glutton. It's a goddamn maze. That's pretty great, admittedly. I appreciate this. Okay, it's barely a maze, but it's still a maze. Dex Mex is like Chili's style Mexican sort of. Or just Taco Bell. Like, Taco Bell is absolutely Tex Mex. Like, heavily Americanized Mexican food. It can be really good, but it's oftentimes like a pale imitation of the real thing. Not always. Sometimes it's, like, pretty legit. Where the hell did it fling that? There was a, uh... There's always a bag... ...in these, and it just sent it flying off into the universe. I don't know if we're gonna spot it. Oh, there it is. I need a copper felling axe or better to cut down and imbued trees. This is kind of dumb. Well... I guess it's my... in my best interest to effectively just ignore everything and wait for my... my people to craft stuff. Because I clearly can't do anything here. I mean, I guess I can grab resources from this. This is less exciting. At least we're starting to find, like, copper just, like, around instead of just scrap. Ooh. Nursing, nursing shard. Whoops. Oh. Ripper! Bam. As this higher level area. Yep. And as such, they've increased the tier of resources. 
if only to make things uh, slightly more difficult for us. A lot of games do this. It's like, you have reached the next tier. You arbitrar uh, arbitrarily need a better pickaxe to, to be able to grab anything out of this. Unfortunately, and unfortunately, as far as I can tell, the only difference is, like, literally the enemies have just been recolored. Some of the enemies have been recolored, not even all of them. And, uh, that's kind of about it. Like, when I, when I said they stretched this game a little bit, I was not kidding. This is pretty stretched out. It's not bad. It's shorter than I was expecting. I was expecting each one of these areas to actually be a bit of a grind. But no, it really but it it really looks like it's one of those where uh as soon as I get those tools, this entire place just kind of opens up. Keep it up. Push on. And then we'll just be done unless I die. At which point I think I'm going to be mad and start cheating flagrantly. Because, like, at this point, I feel like I'm maybe getting close to the halfway point on this, ish. But, they just keep going. It's a game with only white snow. A little depressing, if you ask me. I actually rather like it. It reminds me of Frostpunk, but as a more direct thing. God, can you imagine... Frostpunk, where it looks it looks like this. Well, no, it doesn't look like this. It it's Metro Exodus plus Frostpunk, where you occasionally go into a management mode, but spend most of your time wandering around looking for resources and gathering things while you set up the industrialization back home, and maybe a little bit less like direct, directly depressing shit. Because, like, that would be Two so Two helicopters cool. crashed this afternoon when a press team attempted to fly into the safety zone around the Jeepa facility. Their helicopter was intercepted by a military vessel. During the subsequent pursuit, the helicopters must have collided with tragic results. Both machines went down. Eight people were killed during the incident. There were no survivors. Let's see, do I still have that food? Yeah, I do. Because, like, I really like these town builder games, but I find a lot of the time I'm just sitting around kind of being, like, stressed without any, like, immediate outlet. And I think it bothers me a little bit because I'd actually really like to have some direct gameplay. And so I think that's what still appeals to me about this, even though it is fairly light. Is that, like, I have something to do while I wait for my people to build a house, for example. And admittedly, in a lot of these games, you know, they just slap down the house in, like, no time flat. But, not always? Let's see, manage followers. It says woodcutting adept, hunting adept. I wonder if they level up. The morale is good. Like, we're pretty fine. But yeah, whenever whenever I end up playing these games, I, I find myself yearning a little bit for more direct, maybe more direct control, kind of, sort of. Uh, just so I have something to do that isn't just sitting there and, you know, kind of watching the game go by. And so, like, I think it would be so rad to have some kind of weird mix where, like, here's your town, 
you have to you have to keep it going. You have to keep people from dying. You have to you know do a bunch of tasks. You have to maybe drive off bandits and raiders and whatnot. But when nothing else is immediately going on at your town, yeah, you can go out. You can actually like find stuff. Oh damn it. The button for stashing things changes depending on where you are and it's actually really annoying. Campfire extinguished. What? Okay, that one extinguished for some reason. I... I don't know. Okay, what am I missing? Stack of that. And... We'll just have five food. Has I ever played Kenshi? Yeah. Uh, I actually have not played Kenshi yet. Kenshi is one of those games that I... I I'm not going to say desperately want to do a series on. Uh, but it's very high on the list of, like, things that I very much want to play. Because of how interesting its mechanics are. It's just, like, that is a game that is, is a time commitment. Like, you can't, you can't just sit down and play Kenshi for, like, a weekend and get anywhere. Kenshi is one of those games that you have to sit down and play Kenshi for, like, a ton of time and actually like really get into it. See, I'm going to play Super Mario Maker 2. I don't know. I'm not actually a big fan of Mario and platformers are particularly hard on my hands. So that actually makes my life kind of difficult. Here, let's let's do the boring thing. I'm just going to go uh while we wait for those resources to roll in and those buildings get made. Let's grab the remaining crafting crafting gathering nodes in this zone that we haven't grabbed yet. But yeah, someday I'd like to do a series on Kenshi. Same thing with um Project Zomboid. I mean, honestly, pretty much anything Mathis has ever done a series on and is doing his like really highly edited crazy series. Like those are games that I really want to play. I just know I I'm going to have to sit down and actually spend a decent amount of time on them. Otherwise, like, it's just going to be a halfway finished and unsatisfying, uh, series, if that makes sense. Yeah, it took him weeks to pull away from it. Uh, it took COH Carnage weeks to pull away from it. Yeah, and, like, nothing wrong with it. Because, like, I think I would enjoy myself thoroughly if I played it. But... There are, how would I say, there are really boring times, and really boring months. June, I think actually, I think June is a perfect example of a, uh, perfect example of when I should probably do a series on Kenshi. Because I'm actually going to have the time for it. Uh, very specifically... E3? I'm pretty sure E3 is June. And, like, nothing happens then. Like, it is the least interesting month for, uh... It is the least interesting month for, like, new releases. Except for, like, the week of E3 itself. Then you actually end up with, like, a number of random games dropping on E3, which is kind of cool. But for me, like, that would be a good month for me to sit down and, like, really dedicate to a couple of games and, like, finish a couple of older games because, yeah, I, my schedule is going to be, like, downright empty and I'm going to be sitting around mildly panicking because uh, I don't like having downtime on YouTube or, like, dry spells because dry spells usually means my channel starts to falter a bit. Because I am very momentum-based.
And so, yeah. It would be a, it would be a good time for me to sit down and check that out. January is sometimes also a pretty good time for it, but it varies. Let's see, have I gotten this tree yet? No. I'm just gonna start marking off all the different locations I haven't been to and gathered from. Eh? There we go. I am confused, Dr. Doom and Gloom. What downfall? I, I cut down a tree. I don't know. Nor do I understand. Okay, so we still have a fair amount of inventory space left. I like that. Looks like this will be the last of it, though. Let's just go over here. Grab that one last set and then let's keep going. Let's see. Nature holds Casper back. Oh, that makes sense. Reduce the resistance. I wonder. Hey, thank you, Untrollable <laughs> YouTube, for the sub. And welcome. But yeah, he's afraid of deadly nature. I guess it kind of makes sense. Because he did say there was a... Um, he did say that, like, uh, the crystals and the trees are are nature's resistance. He's just also claimed that uh, a lot of these trees are his, which gets kind of weird. There's a lot of stuff I've missed here. Let's ch chop this down really quick if I can. Before it drops a car on my head. Son of a... What the is that? Ow! I was so distracted by that other car that I didn't notice that we had double carring. Well, that was bad damage. Bad damage. Wow, actually, we've got a whole hell of a lot of things in this like immediate area that I haven't looted. Oh, are these gather points that I've missed? Yeah, I bet all the little white nodes are are like resources and containers that I've missed. Well, dang, there's so much. I really wish... I really wish I could actually just tell my followers to go out and just get all the shit that I've left behind. Uh, because this is going to take a while if I want to get all of these. Let's grab what we can before, before my inventory fills up, and then I'm gonna head back. We'll see if I can queue up some, like, copper axes and stuff, and then I guess we'll just get out of there. Out of there? Get out of here? Go on to the next zone. Maybe? The problem is this game, like, very heavily, like, rewards being absolutely thorough. And it's like, I don't know. I don't want to be super thorough. But it's also like, I don't have anything better to do. There's a lot that I don't even have. Well, there's a lot that I, I don't have yet that I desperately need if I want to make any progress in the next zone. Okay, so let's, let's keep grabbing these. The more I can grab, seeing as we've got the uh, carrying capacity, the better. At least they kind of stack. But yeah, I I think I wish with this game, with a lot of the backpacks and stuff, I really wish every backpack and bag you got, not only would it give you another slot that you could slot something in, but also increase the amount of things that you could have in a stack by like 10% or something like that. Or maybe just like one or two. I'm not like super picky.
Wow. I got stuck that time. Okay. Yeah, a lot of... A lot of things around here. I'll just leave this area marked. So yeah, note to self, all of those little white diamonds all over the place, those are resources that I haven't picked up yet. I think what I might do is maybe next time we play this, eh, no, no, I can do it with the dog sled. I was, I was like, maybe I could just turn on like cheat engine and infinite stamina and just run around and grab things. But no, it'd actually be faster with the dog sleds. Did I seriously miss these two? Okay, at least those fit in my inventory. Because those I might not be able to come back for easily. Shit. Go! Okay. I think this is the right place. Right direction. I think it is. So, for people that have played this before, if any of you guys are still around... Do you know how to level up party members? Or is it... Oh, maybe it's like an equipment thing. As we increase the tech tech level, they probably improve as well. Because, yeah, this game doesn't do immediate RPG stuff, from what I can tell. It does a little bit, but there's no, like, EXP system. Which, you know, in retrospect, I think I might have almost preferred an... RPG leveling system instead of like the shards with like a little bit more like yeah I want my character to just have like an unbelievably large stamina bar and movement speed I don't even care about like damage that much just let me get uh, get from place to place faster it'd also be nice if you could actually send them out to work on structures out in the world like watchtowers that would actually like indicate which direction invasions were coming from or a freaking farm? Didn't followers get experience working in buildings? And, uh, you set them to... Uh, the dog sled is gone. What happened to the dog sled resources? Jin, what are you working on? You were sleeping. 24 hours before that's done. What? It's almost, uh... Okay, how's this looking? 19 hours. Nineteen hours for a bag and a bow. Uh... Lots of things. I wonder what I believe. Aware, we'd sit, eyes closed, waiting to receive inspiration. Many times, death sunk. But we did not break our concentration, even as we fought it. Okay, so I'm going to cross my fingers that the dog resources just got auto-deposited because I'd be real mad if they didn't. Because the time is in-game hours instead of real one. Yeah, no, it's very true. If, the, if they had pulled, like, microtransaction shit in the middle of this, like, do you want Jin to finish this workshop faster? Pay us three buck rooties? And I'd be like, no. Nope. No, thank you. Not, not at all. Seriously, though. Bonnie keeps changing the subject whenever you get close enough to hear what she's saying. You really think you'd put, like, a little bit more insulation on these buildings? Like, my door? How is it 77 degrees in here? I mean, I guess it's because we're right next to the fire, but still. Was that not the case with Warframe? At least with Warframe, once you get past, like, the initial section, that, like, time until 
it's done crafting honestly doesn't matter. Like, okay, yeah, it is an inconvenience, I guess, waiting, but at the same time, like, oh well. Let's see, so what do I need to upgrade any of these? Lumber, copper nails, and the rest of these aren't even done yet. So what are add-ons? Stairs, an impaler, ballista. And a spitter mortar. But we need parts and frames and stuff. Yeah, that's, that's out for a while. Oh, igloos are more insulated than these buildings. They're made of ice. Igloos are really warm, by the way. Like, I made an igloo once. Technically, it was a snow ice cave kind of situation. But, like... I was sweating the whole night. And I was surrounded in a layer of ice. It was nuts. It was really cramped, though. It's 64 out in the village. Something in this valley must be insulating you from the cold. I... I wish you could actually do farming in this game. Like, farming trees and... Uh, farming, you know, like, forestry, some other stuff. It, it bugs me a little bit that there isn't a single renewable resource in this game, because, like... You absolutely... Oh, it's just creeping up there, isn't it? You absolutely could. Kinda. But I, I guess they want to push you ever forward. And also, this is not a long enough game that you really would need to worry about it either. I'm sure once we have a full complement of people, it's going to get a little bit more pricey resource-wise. Uh, but currently, with only, like, the three of us, nah, it's hella cheap. <laughs>